Hello again and thanks for watching. I want to talk about plecos today and trying to keep them in African cichlid tanks. I've not had much success to be perfectly honest. I've tried two different types of plecos. Bristol nose plecos as you see this guy right here and candy stripe plecos which tend to be a little smaller. Bristol nose also are on the on the small side compared to common plecos. But as you can see right here, that is the jawbone from my candy stripe or Rio Pleco. Not quite sure what killed him. You can see the, the Bristol nose here <laughs> hanging from the back of the fan there. He's the same color of it, kind of camouflage, but you can see his tail hanging down. I thought that was kind of a cool shot. Anyway, I've not had much success keeping them alive, and I don't know exactly what the problem is. I'm not seeing my cichlids attack them, so I don't think it's that. I think that they're they're passing away, and then after that, they're they're eating you know what's left of them, cannibalizing what's left of them. Can look at my bristle noses right here. Got a little of a crocodile type look to them. You can see right here one squirmed away. That's about as much action as you'll ever see from a pleco. <laughs> they normally just move, you know, a centimeter here, centimeter there. At that time he swam across the whole aquarium. Looking at that jawbone again from my Rio pleco. And yeah, cichlids are not piranhas, but man, they did a good job cleaning that bone off. I mean, that's just in a day or two since I noticed he was gone. And that is that Rio Pleco or Candy Stripe Pleco before he was, before he passed away and was eaten. But yeah, they cleaned off that bone entirely. There was not even one trace of a, you know, fish scale or tissue or any type of matter. It was just plain polished off bone. So... I've not had much success with these guys, any plecos, you know, you know, they do a good job cleaning your tank and whatnot, but they've not lasted for me very long at all, just a few months, unfortunately, I tried. The only thing I can think of is the pH is a little higher than in my 65 gallon tank because my real plecos survive in my 65, but in this room where my Africans are, the pH is a little bit higher, but I don't know if that's the reason or if the Africans are attacking them at, at night. But uh, at any rate, let me know if you guys have had success or any ideas you, that you think you know might be the, the reason this hasn't worked out for me. Just comment below. Thank you. Bye.